Go. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. What up, YouTube? Gunner South here. Sorry about the delay in getting the uh, video out. I lent out my bipod to a friend for chronograph, so apologize on the delay on this video. But uh, this one's just going to be a quick one just to get us back into things here and more of a regular update schedule. Uh, I wanted to uh, update you guys on um, my current CDP IDPA um, gear. Uh, the last time you saw this Glock, it was a little different, and uh, you might or might not notice the difference. Um, one thing, um, I've also got my Glock 34 out here, but I just wanted to cover uh, what I have changed and just sort of how my CDP gear is evolving as we head towards uh, the uh, state match. So, um, I'll just clear both pistols clear and clear so the last time we looked at my Glock 41 Gen 4 uh, it had a beaver tail in it um, and so I'm gonna kinda go over why I chose to drop the beaver tail first thing you notice I did already switch back to that uh, non extended slide release because I have no trouble getting to that one. So the most obvious thing is non-extended slide release and we're, I've taken off all the beaver tails and I've gone back to the small grip. The reason I did this is because um, when I shot the previous state match with this Glock 34 I, I didn't even have the back straps yet for the uh, Gen 4s, and I, so I shot it as a Glock Gen 3, basically. Um, and as you can see, I get a lot more on this thing. This is a 9 millimeter, so it's the smallest that you can have for a Glock. And I get fingers around around here, and I can really get into that trigger guard, and I can really get down on that to get the the recoil under control. So what I was finding with the back strap installed on a Gen 4 large frame aka 45 Glock 41 is that I, I was missing that just way up into that nook right there that I could get and this even though it is um, no back straps on this and it's theoretically a small I, this feels like the 34 with the back straps you can see there's still a difference right there because um, I've got to fit that monster of a bullet in here but taking off the back strap really helped me feel like I could get up in there and I think even just the removal of the material the extra material that would have been added right here for the beaver tail was keeping me from getting as high up onto the pistol as I wanted and so what you know every time I've shown these Glocks I've told you about me getting slide bite and I've just I'm just gonna have to accept that as reality um, hopefully when I come down on the gun I won't come down on it too high but the advantage of me getting really up in there is uh, has paid off already um, in the form of what I believe is better recoil management. It could all be in my head. Um, I also made some other changes this last week in IDPA. Specifically, I took 0.2 grains of a uh, tight group out of my competition load, 45 load, uh, shooting 230 grains of uh, 45 um, at 4.4. Previously, I was shooting at 4.6 grains, um, and honestly, um, from what I've seen published, and I have not yet gotten the chronograph out yet, 4.3 is all I need to make power factor. So, for, if 4.3 is all I need to make power factor, I'm going to run at 4.4, which on my setup throws at 4.5, somewhere in there. Um, I'm going to make power factor comfortably 
but I won't be seeing the velocities that I have been seeing. I'm just backing it down a little closer to the limit. Um, and then finally, the other biggest change that I've done, and you might see it right away, is I took the pre-travel adjustment screw for the DK Custom Trigger, this guy, makes a phenomenal trigger, but what I found was that when it was sitting back here, and this is, this is about how far it sat back with the pre-travel adjustment screw installed, and you can see that the safety is still popped out, so it sat about right there. And what I found is that I would come in and I would rest my finger on that and it almost, you know, it almost made me nervous. I, I'll just go ahead and say it. I, um, you know, there's something about having a little take up on the trigger um, to give you a little bit of confidence seeing as this is probably quite a low trigger pull now. But besides the safety factor and me not wanting to get Glock leg, which, you know, as competition shooters you're going to fire a lot of rounds and the law of averages you don't want it to catch up with you so that was one reason I took it out but probably the bigger reason is that I've just gotten used to a take up on a Glock trigger I've gotten used to the stacking and click and I, again this is all shooter no, no none of these parts these all the parts that love the trigger still um, but I think I'm just more comfortable coming in after drawing and laying my finger there and having a bit of a take up and, and knowing where that's going to break because that's what I have been shooting on the Glock 34 and I've put you know thousands of rounds down that 34 and I just why change it up you know if I'm going to change up where it sits I might as well go to a different platform altogether, pretty much. Um, and this especially became tr apparent to me when I shot my Glock 19 sort of carry gear night in a in a leather holster, and I did terrible. I just I did terrible, and and you know a lot of it had to do with the fact that it, it was like a back to a 5.5 six pound trigger, and then I really felt like the take up. I was just I had gotten away from the take up and I wanted to preserve that and I wanted to make sure that even though I was shooting competitions that I still could handle the regular carry gear. So for all of those reasons I removed the back straps, kept this extra the slide release uh, stock because I went into that over in the other video and then I also took the pre-travel all the way back out to where it's now basically a factory pre travel The safety tab still is in, engaged this far back, so if I and I left everything else about the DK trigger in here, so if I want to add it back someday, I can. But for now, we're leaving all that pre travel in because I'm used to it. Not because it's good, but just because I'm used to it. Um, so I just wanted to give you an update on my Glock 41 Gen 4 competition gear for CDP IDPA. Uh, that's it for now. I'll update you as I change things. If I change anything out prior to uh, state, I will hopefully maybe post what uh, what that load chronographs at later as I update this post. Um, but um, that'll all be in future videos. So thanks a lot. You